What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. So as you can see, I am using a microphone that I got for Christmas. So thank you for that. My uncle got it for me and hopefully it works for you guys and hopefully you can hear me a bit clearer. But today I'm going to be doing some makeup with my new stuff. And if you guys can see, you probably know this from my TikTok, but I have a super cool mirror that has lights around it um i just need to prop you guys up and i got a new palette and lots of makeup things for christmas as well which is what i'm going to be showing you guys so i actually got this bag and it's full of all my makeup and stuff and it's like really big but before i show you guys what i've got i actually need to do my face cleansing my mum got me some face cleansing wipes from simple and if you guys know and if you watched my previous makeup videos simple are the people who did my um eye makeup remover from my old makeup videos but also these lights give me better lighting whilst recording but i'm gonna take one of these cleansing wipes and just wipe my face and yeah so I did a test run on the microphone, so I hope you guys can hear me better because it sounded much better than the old ones and how it sounds without the microphone. I'm talking completely normally. I'm not shouting or being louder than I usually am. So hopefully it's working out for you guys. But I finished cleansing my face and I actually have this perfume. That Lexi got for me well she gave it to me but I'm gonna spray oh I might have got the microphone wet then um, sorry if the uh, microphone goes a bit fuzzy cuz when I'm touching it all the movement but yeah so now I'm going to go into my makeup bag and it's like really big it opens out all the way as well and inside I have this bag that has lots of makeup brushes that we will be using as you can see these are all different brushes and things some of them are double-sided as well which is cool all of those are from my grandma including my makeup palettes and this is also from my grandma it's a little mini nail set with stuff to do and help my nails out in there and i actually bent my nail back so i have one painted nail because the nail varnish holds it together and if it wasn't it would like split up to there which would have been bad and my grandma also got me this new makeup palette, those are eyeshadows, those are, that's bronzer, that's highlighter, and those are blusher. So let's start with the concealer slash spot treatment that I use to cover up my spots. And I sort of use it like foundation as well. So I've taken my foundation brush, which I've used a lot already. And I'm just going to put this on my spots this is sort of like a try out for my new makeup and i've actually tried to film this multiple times and i didn't get around to filming it again because it would not work like youtube was glitchy for me over here so it wasn't going very well but now i've put all my stuff on my face and i'm gonna start blending it in so it doesn't look weird because sometimes if you don't blend it it can look a bit like a different colour to your skin so I'm just blending that in I'm really sorry if the um, microphone goes a bit fuzzy during this video and <coughs> because I probably won't do this video again if it goes wrong so fingers crossed it works and whilst I'm doing this guys uh, why don't you go ahead and like the video but 
as that is done also make sure to subscribe down below so now i've done that i'm going to take the makeup palette i have used it once before but i didn't try everything and i'm going to take this side of this brush and go for the highlighter this palette is fairly new so the highlight is actually a bit powdery which i am sort of annoyed about but it shouldn't be too much of a problem i also put highlighter on my cheeks just to brighten my face up a bit sometimes because in the morning i look a bit dark and gloomy and sometimes it can be a bit moody in the morning so having a dark face does not help with the moodiness because it makes me more moody but now i'm going to take a bit of bronzer this bronzer is like really really dark and easy to see but i just like put a little bit on the end of my cheeks because i don't put the highlighter all the way across and i put a little bit of color on my nose as well like that and then so this is like the first step first i do like a bit of foundation and cover up and then i do a bit of contour so now i'm just going to put bronzer and a bit of highlighter like around my face and blend it in as part of the contour that i do and then i'm going to do some cheeks so that's pretty good and now i'm gonna do take the other side of this brush show this side now that one was for the highlighter and stuff and there is two blushes and i usually go for this pinky one so i'm going to be using that and i just sort of like dab it because i usually get quite red in my face anyway so i don't generally use blusher and i like to carry the blusher up over my nose like that looking pretty and then it's probably time for the eyeshadow now and i take this brush has two different sides to it. it has a softer side and a more detailed side and i take highlighter with the detail side and i sort of do a little effect in the corner of my eye if you guys can see just to make it shiny once my mum told me that I looked like the lady from um, Shadow, the perfume adverts, because I um, always wear like goldish makeup. I also take the highlighter and put it like a slight line underneath my eye because it gives you more of a shine. I also really hate like this line here. It's really annoying. Um, but I do that on both eyes, as you can see. And then I use a softer side, and I take this sort of goldy eyeshadow, and I just put it on like a normal. Like that. And I like to take the detailed side with the eyeshadow this time and I do a little flick with the eyeshadow. It also looks like I'm not looking at the camera but I am which is sort of annoying sometimes but it's because the camera isn't actually at the front of the screen it's on the side of the screen. Um, you guys probably already know that but now I'm just repeating the same steps on my other eye that's the eyeshadow done I'm actually going to put the brushes away now in this bag so now I've done that 
I also need to brush my hair at the end of this, but now I take my gel. Also, shout out to Clear Skin from Avon because I love their products. They're really helpful. This sort of gives me a layering over my spots. I actually forgot to do that today. But they said it can also be used as an eyebrow product. So I just get a little bit of gel and put it on my eyebrows. It also prevents spots underneath the eyebrows, which can be quite painful because I had one here before and I didn't like it. But there we go. Sorry, I, I get distracted with stuff under my nails because, but finally we have to do some mascara and updates on my eye. I've still got like mascara under my eyeball. It won't go away, but let's do, I'm not going to put too much of mascara on because I think, as I mentioned, when I was trying to do this video, it has sort of a waterproof layer this mascara I use but those cleansing wipes remove waterproof makeup but it still won't come off the bottom of my eyelid literally oh no I put black dot on my face I always do that no get off me oh no hang on get my cleansing wipes and quickly okay there we go and now I'm going to do the lipstick so this is my normal gold one but I'm just going to do a dab of it because it gives me a shine and then I have this new pink lipstick so my mum actually won some stuff from Avon I just love Avon makeup products, but I have this brand new pink lipstick and I'm just going to put it over this um, sort of shiny bronze colour. Also that lipstick is from Avon as well. Just if you guys want to know where to get it, if you like the colour. And... Just doing this. And that's actually pretty much today's video of makeup. So I've just put that back now. And I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you can hear me better with this microphone on. And I will have some art videos coming up for you guys. And this is only the start of another week for me to film with you guys. And sorry I haven't been posting that much lately because obviously I've been doing lots of family time stuff. But I hope you enjoy this video and I'm just going to do a song like the one I did with Daisy and another song I made up. So let's do this. Sometimes I don't want to be happy. Don't hold it against me if I'm down, just leave me, let me be sad. Whoa. And then I have my own song that I did. Sometimes I just want to see my friends. But we're in tier three, we're always on FaceTime. So I made this song, this is the song I made And I hope you like it So thank you guys so much for watching this video I'll see you all in the next one Bye guys and also I hope you enjoyed your Christmas Bye!